Skate 4 is now out. Well, it's not out, but it's free to play. Let's go. Officially titled Skate, period. Sony announced a new loyalty program for PlayStation Plus users to redeem for wallet funds and digital items, and you'll be able to visit a museum exhibiting Pokemon fossils virtually. This and more on today's Daily Fix. We're laughing. Wait, so this is gonna be called Skate Period? That hasn't like just skate. Developer Full Circle gave us a sneak peek at the pre 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 alpha state of skate. Did I see that video? I don't think I've seen the pre out like on YouTube, the team confirmed Skate Period will be free to play, taking place in San Amsterdam, oh, Sister oh City to Skate and Skate 2's San Vanilona. Skate Period will not be a sequel or reboot, but rather a new platform to be built upon and evolve for years to come. The team revealed a very early pre-alpha trailer and so this confirmed is the Skate game will be designed huh? to not be paid to win, not locked behind a paywall, and not include paid loot boxes or paid gameplay advantages. EA will Bro, I've never paid for anything in the skate, skate game, I'm be honest. I'm gonna be help really honest with you guys. With as much feedback early and as often as possible. Skate was announced during the 2020 EA Play presentation, giving fans hope oh after waiting God, for 2020 so nice. Skate 3 for a new entry. Though no release date was mentioned, the team promises to release it as soon as it's ready. Moving on, Sony announced uh, a new and they hold it out on us, bro. Stars that I can't wait till it comes out. With actual cash value. The free to sign up loyalty program will task players to complete objectives to earn points that can be used to redeem items on the PlayStation Store. PlayStation Plus members will also receive points for purchasing items on the PlayStation Store. The catalog of items may include PSN wallet funds, digital collectibles from iconic PlayStation games, and more. Sony assured that's us that a, in no that's way are the amazing. collectibles considered NFTs as they are simply 3D rendered representation of Sony game characters that, and okay, other that, things that's that raw. I like that. That's cool. Sold and are not backed by any blockchain technology. Another cool feature of the new oh. program is the extra special award given to the first player who gets the platinum trophy in certain games. Only one player wow. in their local time zone okay, will be awarded a special w. prize, but it's not clear that's exactly w. how this would work. PlayStation mentioned That's the by PlayStation race will though, be honestly. a territory race rather than a global one, but promises to crack down on anyone who tries to cheat the system. Uh -oh. New collectibles will be added regularly, with Sony stating that some will be particularly rare and something for players to continuously work towards. And finally, the Pokemon Company and the Toyohashi Museum of Natural History have joined forces to create the Pokemon Fossil Museum, where players can tour the exhibit virtually. Open now till November, really? fans can see collections of real dinosaurs and Pokemon fossils via the museum's virtual tour. The project mm. began last year in Hokkaido, nice. designed to teach children about fossils, dinosaurs, and of Ooh. course, Pokemon. Okay, the that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. of Pokemon side by that's side raw, with bro. their fossilized versions and provides info on its similarities nah, to nice. real world extinct animals. Having just gone through the virtual exhibit, it's actually pretty cool. Even though most of the information is in Japanese, it's still worth taking a stroll through a museum from the comfort of your own home. No, yeah, we'll that's actually really nice. If you want to check it out for yourself. And that is your Daily Fix for today, July 14th. If you haven't checked it out already, we have our preview of the World of Warcraft Dragonflight okay. expansion live on the site. Follow Daily Fix on Snapchat, download IGN on all the apps, and for everything else, just stick to IGN. I'm Nars, right. and remember to always stay fabulous. I'm over here thinking that it's supposed to be like some type of like event or something. But yeah, sh bro, I like this. I like how PlayStation is like, okay, that's actually pretty nice. So you can actually play the uh, little PlayStation Stars game. The It's the game that comes with like uh, with PlayStation and stuff like that. So you can play that game and you can actually earn up like, you know, wow, that's actually pretty cool. So you can earn up to like, uh, like uh, PSN balance, you know, stuff like that. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. I feel, I feel like a lot of people may try that out because you know, obviously I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say, oh my God, bro, a lot of people are broke. They don't have money, no. Um, but I think a lot of people that don't really, you know, that, that don't have that much money, uh, and that just have some free time on their hands, they can easily just do that. Um, and the whole thing with skate, uh, I didn't know that they changed the name to, to skate period. I thought it was a skate four. So that's actually pretty cool. I don't know if, I mean, I don't want to make it seem like it's like, that's like, I, I, hopefully this is not the last one, but the skate, I, I wonder like what made them change it to skate period. 
I really want to know. Well, yeah, comment down below what you guys thought of this video. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed my reaction. And I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And peace.